Hey there! Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Baby Ghost from Parish Brewing Company out of Broussard, Louisiana. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give your own professional, somewhat biased opinion about the beer that we are drinking and reviewing. You can probably repeat that back to us if you've heard it enough times at this point. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, cheers, that notification bell. We definitely would appreciate it. It helps the channel out and thank you. I've got Andy in the attic in his Andy in the attic shirt. I've got Jay in his Hopped Up Beer Review shirt. I am Ben in my Hopped Up Beer Review shirt. Andy missed the memo. What are we drinking today? Baby Ghost. Out of Parish Brewing Company. She was manifested on July the 3rd, 2024. If you notice on the bio. Manifested. Why is my camera? <laughs> Your camera up, loves you, Ben. So I, I'm thirsty and I want to drink this and hear Andy's description of everything. And, and we can talk through a lot of fun things. All right. Yet another Parish beer, which is good because we can get them. So most of them, yeah, except for the the one that Don at Don's beer review could Still get over hard. in Dunbar, Scotland, that we could not get for some reason. So cheers to Don. Well, it's not like he got it out of a. Uh, it's not like it was in his local bottle shop. It was a, a mail. Hey, he got it. Okay. I mean, we couldn't get that beer. So, well, if our states would allow mail in hmm. beer, we would be able to get it. Yeah. Cheers, mates. Ooh, aromatic. Mm -hmm. Cheers, mates. Cheers, Cheers mate. mates. I like that glass, Andy. Mine's better than yours. Don't lie, Andy. You've had this beer before. I never said I didn't. <laughs> I think we've all had this one now. Have you had a bit? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I have. All right, sir. Ag. All right. Quit drinking over there. Start talking. Baby Ghost. It's a New England IPA. Five and a half percent. Why is it called Baby Ghost? Well, it is based off of their most popular beer, Ghost in the Machine, double IPA. And they've had many variations of Ghost in the Machine. This one is the first to have a reduced ABV. So therefore, that's why they call it Baby Ghost. They is this still, classified as a session? Is it that is is it still too high for I that? Wouldn't say it. I'd say if you're if you're over five, you're not a session. If you're five and over, I'd say you got to be under five to be a session. I think it's a session for parish. I mean, come on, let's just... <laughs> for the ghost, it's sessionable. It still is double dry hopped with citra, like uh, ghost machine, and it, this one uses all citra hops. It's crisp, hazy. And a hoppy profile. That is all I could find on it. Now, we were talking before recording about the, the can art. Excuse me. So you got to take into account, we have not reviewed Ghost in the Machine, which is probably their most popular beer by popular far beer. flagship if you want to say in a lot of ways well, from they the technically say their flagship is cane break right but yeah. it's it's one of their year-round staples and it's the it would be the one that i consider the most widely distributed i mean you could it's find their draft nationally yeah. so. their most popular <laughs> yes they're that's what they're most well known for outside of their region yeah because they, their cane break is the highest seller in their region in southern louisiana and to, to jump in here the hoppy traveler who is over in the uk uh, who does a beer channel um mentioned recently on a, another review that he actually had ha had gotten it over there so 
Ghost in the Machine is international at this point. Um, Gets around. Yeah. So. so the logo here, as Andy was alluding to, is a takeoff on that. It's it's a baby, if you want to look, a much smaller skull head. Uh, and Ghost in the Machine has a, a little bit larger skull. And then it, it has a laser beam or a, a bullet track going through it with little baby hops coming out on this side and ghost in the machine. They're actual big hot buds as you see. And then they do all sorts of variations that we've seen. And we, we have another, another one that we're going to review out of the ghost series uh, two, right? Two. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes. I, now that you remind me, I forgot about that. So we've um, got two more coming out of the ghost series. Still yeah. not the ghost in the machine. We're going to save that one. I don't know what we're saving it for. It's, at this point, it's more, like, it's, it's, it's like, more it's like it's pretty cool not to do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I will say this: the can art. Um, if you've ever had to crack open anatomy books, they the different colors on the different parts of the skull represent different names of those bones of the skull so i think that was pretty cool that they went educational i don't know and it is an immature undeveloped skull compared to the large uh like jay said the much larger on ghost of the machine that skull what, what is this but show turning into i mean it's i'm always going to bring the knowledge ben you know that anyway all right I think Andy's crushing a little on Parrish. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I even looked up today Maybe how I many am. hours to drive it is. And it's uh, six hours and 11 minutes from my house, from my work, actually. Okay. So. I think oh, Ben's closer. Oh, yeah. Much mm -hmm. closer. All right. We've already established that we've all had this one. Um, Andy. What do you think? What do you think on this one? I like it a lot. It is juicy. Being in one style. It's very, you got that citrus. And I mean, just as I said, it's crisp. It has got that juicy citrus. Oh, not tropical but just those citra hops are just coming through i uh i had this golly not long after jay gave it to us and uh because he multiples and i fell in love yeah like you said i'm crushing on him yeah yeah it is i want that baby i give it an eight and a half it's so good all right i'll jump in there and go next uh yeah, I know. Well, Jay, you provided, as Andy alluded to, you provided multiple. So I think that warrants you going last in the in the group here. So <laughs> thank you for for providing that. Um, and and I as well had it. Um, I definitely like it. This is a this is another great offering from Parish. Um, so you know, it's it's really easy, I think, for us to get caught up a lot in parish and other half and these breweries that do really great beer and, and, you know, the, especially parish because we can get it a lot easier and, and Jay helps us with the other half. Um, I think this one is one that for me, I probably prefer regular ghost in the machine a little more than this one. I'm not saying that this one is bad but i just i like the ghost of the machine a little bit better because i get it on draft periodically we have it here on draft all the time uh so it's one of the few things if you're out there watching you're really into craft beer and you're like man i wish i could get ghost in the machine because we've had a few people that's what they asked for if, if they ever talked to us um that's the one thing i can get on draft any day of the week uh and that's like it. That's the one, the one thing that we can kind of flex on. Uh, but uh, I do like Ghost in the Machine a little bit better, but I still really like this one. It is, you know, just that hazy, 
as Andy said, Citra hop. It, it's it's got a great flavor. Um, obviously, a little bit lighter for uh, an IPA at, at the five and a half percent. Um, so it it's still a great beer. Uh, eight eight point zero for me. Where I come in. Okay. All right. I get to round it out, huh? Well, uh, we all know that we're fans of Parrish. They do fantastic beer. Their can art's really cool and in a lot of cases, especially around their Ghost series, and we'll see more of that in the future. Uh, this one I do love. I loved it the first time I had it. It sold out uh, out of the bottle shops quicker than the others uh, you know, that I've seen come through there, and I don't know if that's because it was a lower ABV, maybe sessionable crushable if you want you can drink multiple of these which is what i like it is hazy it is juicy it's not as full bodied i think that's the big thing that you're missing ben with the yep. ghost in the machine uh that it does the ghost in the machine is full it's thick this is if you if you could say this is a little thin it maybe is a little thin but it's it's fantastic they did a great job of taking what they had as their base and making it into a lower ABV, more sessionable, um, crushable, if you will. Uh, I wish I could get this on draft and try it somewhere. I think it would be fantastic, but I never, never saw this one on draft this last year, uh, throughout the last year, um, and only saw it in the stores a short period and it sold out very fast. I was fortunate enough to get to, I don't know, two or three, four packs out of it and, and managed to share some extras with you guys. But for me, yeah, it's, I'm there with Andy. It's an eight and a half just because of the way that they could replicate and do what they did. It's hazy. It's juicy. I love the sessionable aspect of it to me. I know we say it's not a session at five and a half, but it, it's the closest thing you're going to get with Parrish having one. So, but yeah, eight and a half all day. We would you say that Ben is into the BBBs, the big body beers? Is that what uh, you referenced? Um, I yeah, I, maybe F, <laughs> FBBs, full body beers. Ben, ben likes some BBBs, <laughs> big body beer for Ben. I don't uh, even know what to say to that. I mean, that's just. I think Andy's wine is now coming through. No, 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 no. It's just, <laughs> it's a funny. It was a funny. Yeah, that was a good one. That will be an 8.3 for the Baby Ghost from Parrish Brewing Company, Broussard, Louisiana. As we've said numerous times, you find Parrish wherever you are in the world. You have got to check it out. Uh, definitely a great brewery that we really enjoy. And now, you know, it's been the, been the highest number of reviews we've done for a single brewery, uh, in our repertoire here. Uh, we're going to put some links down below. Uh, some of those are going to be Don's beer review. Go check them out. We mentioned him earlier, the hoppy traveler, go check him out. Uh, all those are, are, are Don's over in Scotland and the hoppy traveler is in the UK. They do some great channels, and we enjoy watching those, so go check those out as well. I don't know what you're saying over there, Andy, but... Uh, yeah, it's in the UK, too. I mean, you know, they're both UK. Okay, sorry. Yes, that is, no, thank, you, thank you for correcting me. Um, okay. You okay? Be sure to like, subscribe, cheers that notification bell. Check us out on all social media links down below in the description. Come say hey or hop to beer review Discord server. It's a chat room. Do not be scared of it. Check out our links below for hop to beer review merch. We got shirts. We got koozies. We got glassware. We've got stockings. We've got pet toys. We've got everything there. It's it's you know liquidation sales. We we've got spatulas. Everything. Uh, also, check out our links down below. If you have any, we have some glassware that we have purchased. Um, Andy's got it as well. Uh, and we've got links for that below, as well as the hardware and software we use to record this show. If you have any interest in that, for Andy in the attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Oh.